Welcome to your new website. Now you have your brand new website, you may be wondering how to update your website content, images, etc. This is the video that will help you with all your questions. During this module, we will cover logging into WordPress, introductory to the WordPress dashboard, updating page content, adding an image to a page. Open your internet provider, i.e. Firefox, Google, Chrome, Internet Explorer. Enter your domain name, in this case we'll be using Kudacom's website as an example. A WordPress login screen will appear. Please enter a username and password which will be provided by Kudacom. This will give you editing access to your website. We have given you access so please don't worry about breaking anything. Once you have entered in all your information, please click login. Welcome to the WordPress dashboard. This is the home to the back end of your website. On the left hand side panel, you will have a list of your active plugins. In this case, we have case studies and the meta slider light. Please note, each website is different and has different plugins. In this video, we are only going to demonstrate the meta slider plugin as it is the most common plugin. If you have another plugin that isn't included in this video, please contact Kudacom for further instructions. On the left hand side panel, we have the link to our pages which we can access and edit the web page content. This will be explained later in the video. Moving to the middle of the dashboard, there is a summary of the website content. This displays that we have 6 posts, 20 pages and 9 categories. Posts. If your website is set up to display posts from customers or external entries, this is where they are stored and are able to be edited by you. Pages. This displays how many pages your website has. If you click on the word pages, you are able to view the list of pages you have active and inactive. Categories. If your website pages are post based, you can divide your website posts into categories. Categories provide a helpful way to group related posts together and to quickly tell readers what a post is about. Categories also makes it easier for people to find your content. Editing your word page. Click on the pages button. This index will show the first 20 pages of your site. If there are more than 20 pages, scroll to the bottom of the page and there will be an arrow to view the remaining pages. To edit a page, just hover over the space below the name of the page you wish to edit. A short menu will appear that says Edit, Quick Edit, Trash and View. Edit is to add or delete content, photos, etc. Quick Edit lets you update the page name. To edit the page, click on edit. You can view the page in either visual, how the website is viewed, or text, if viewing the website in HTML code. In the toolbar, you can stylize your content by making it bold, italic, underline, adding bullet points, numeric points, or adjusting the alignment of the text. To edit your text, please type in the viewing box just like working in a Word document. Once you have completed your changes, on the right hand side of the screen, you'll find a box with a bright blue button called Update. Clicking this button saves your changes and uploads them to the website. You can use the Preview Changes button to see your changes before you upload them to the website. How to add a photo. Above the toolbar on the web page, there is a button that says Add Media. Click on the icon to add a photo. This works the same way as Facebook or Twitter. When starting out, click on the browse to select the photo from your computer. Later on, if you are uploading a photo that you have used before, find it in the media library, then select insert to page. You can change the location of the image by dragging the image or using the alignment buttons in a toolbar. How to add a hyperlink. You will find the add a link slash delete a link button in the middle of the toolbar and it looks like a sideways figure eight or a link. First use your cursor to highlight the text you want to link. Then click the link button, add the URL. There is a title space where you can put a keyword description of the link. Finally, I also advise clients to tick the box open in the new window or tab as it helps keep visitors on the page. You can also use a link tool to add internal links between pages if you like. How to add images to Metaslider. 
Click on the Metaslider menu option located in your left panel. Click the plus button to create a new slideshow. Please note, you can edit the text in a tab to rename the slideshow. Click the Add to Slide button in the top right of the main section. This will launch the WordPress Media Manager where you can select slides to add to your slideshow. Hold down the control button on your keyboard while clicking images to add multiple images to a slideshow. Once all the images are selected, please click add to slide to finish your slide. Use the settings panel on the right to adjust the slideshow behavior. There's a choice of four slideshow types. Once selected, you will see different settings and effects become available depending on which slideshow type you have selected. Set the slideshow size to a size you want each image in a slideshow to be. You can adjust this as when you need to. Once finished, please select save. Scroll down to the usage section in the bottom right hand corner of the page and copy the shortcode text. Paste the shortcode text directly into any post or page within WordPress to include your slideshow. You can come back to your slideshow at any time to add new slides, remove slides, reorder slides, change settings and so on. Last but not least, the help menu is located in the upper right hand corner of the web page. The help section has photos, examples, tips and tricks and you can also search by topic as well. This concludes the introductory into using WordPress.